Fundamentals of Conducting Blog, week, can you believe it, 12. 12 weeks we have been doing these blog videos, and in no way is that pathetic. Uh, we had class Monday, Wednesday, but we did not have class on Friday because of Good Friday. Monday and Wednesday we spent the class periods working with individual people doing conducting. We did two pieces. There was a couple in mixed meter patterns to get us familiar with that or the other option was to do a round. Some people decided just to sing through the round and work on issues you know of uh, the round as an entire piece where other people such as myself decided to go on and actually do it as a round. Uh, the video is video conducting videos click big 12. <laughs> By now you know the drill. Um, anyway so that was Difficult. Conducting around certainly has many, many problems that can arise. You're not really sure when you want to add dynamic contrast because everyone is at different parts at different points in time. Dr. Abraham said that the best solution to this is to have them sing it through entirely the first time and model how you want them to sing it. That way when they sing it through in their own individual parts, they're more likely to do the dynamics and different things that you did when they sang it through the first time. So I thought that was really important. A thing that I found myself um, being really picky about that I also added to my conducting was final consonants, especially at the very, very end of the round when everyone was finishing their statement. I thought that it was very important because it ended on a T. I thought that it was very important to have the crisp T at the very end so that you knew when each person was ending. So I would try and do the one, two, t at the end of each part so that there was a clear ending and you knew part one was ending, part two was ending, part three was ending, part four was ending. And that way the whole piece ended together. So I tried to, I'm really trying to incorporate what Dr. Miller did with me a couple weeks ago in adding the deadbeat and the final consonant, which I find to be very effective. Even my peers and my critiques said that they really liked my entrances and final cutoffs doing the deadbeat with the consonant. So that was really awesome. Um, the rest of the week, like I said, was just other people conducting, which again was really influential watching other people and learning off of them. The people that are doing the mixed meter patterns are doing an incredible job and I commend them for it. So hopefully sometime, you know, next week I'll be able to jump into the mixed meter thing myself, but we'll see what happens. It's kind of intimidating. Um, look forward to the last and final blog, week 13, Lucky 13. We're going to have a special guest on our blog video. Raisin so Brahms. Maybe Raisin Brahms, who knows? So um, keep your hats on. Don't get too excited, but it will happen. So all right, I think that's it, and look forward to next weekend.